refractory quadratics with leading coefficients different than one. So the leading coefficient is the number that goes right there in the front. Usually it's way simpler and easier if this number right here is one, but not in this case. So first thing you need to look for is see if you can find the greatest common factor. If there's anything they have in common that I'll be able to factor out before I even start factoring the quadratics. In this case, between three, 10, and seven, I don't have the greatest common factor. So the hint right there is to always look for GCF first. That might make your life a lot easier. Um, all right, if this is not an option for number one, you're gonna get the first multiplied by the last. So now my leading coefficient, booyah, it's one. So I'm gonna factor this as if my leading coefficient was just simply one. So I'm gonna list the factors. One times 21 is 21. I can't do two, so three times seven, three times seven is 21. So I'm looking for those two that added together to give me 10. One plus 21 is 22. 3 plus 7 equals 10, so that's the one that I'm going to go with right here. 3 plus 7 equals 10. So x plus 3, x plus 7. Now, because right there in the beginning we started out by multiplying by 3, we need to undo that trick by dividing it by 3. Okay, we need to simplify the fraction. 3 divided by 3 is 1, not 0. So we simplify that. Now when you try to simplify this fraction, 7 over 3, we can't simplify any further than that. So we're going to get this 3, put it right there in the front, bring that 3 up. So 3x plus 7. These are your factors. Now one way for you to check and see if your factors are right because you know sometimes you make mistakes and that's okay so you can put this in the calculator and check to see if the answer comes out the same so this is my original and these are the two factors I came up with if you go to the table and if both tables are the same, that means these two expressions are the same thing but written differently. That's a way for you to check and make sure that you did it right. All right, the second one, always look for the GCF, always look for greatest common factor. I don't have anything there that I can divide by and pull the GCF out. So I'm gonna get the two multiply by the last one get the factors out I like to start with 1 1 times 18 2 and 9 3 and 6 oh but wait a minute the one in the middle is negative so I'm gonna have to make these guys negative because I know two negatives multiplied will make a positive when you multiply two negatives, we'll give you a positive. So we're looking for those two numbers added together that will add up to negative 11. Here they add up to negative 19. Ah, look at that, negative 11 right there. So these are my factors, x minus two, x minus nine. Remember that because you multiply by two, you have to come back and divide by two. Simplify the fraction. Two divided by two is one. Nine over two, I cannot simplify, so I have to bring that two back up. Alright, I can clearly see that number 3, 
I can divide everything by 5. So my GCF right here is 5. When my GCF is 5, I can divide everybody by 5. So my GCF goes outside and I divide everything by 5. And now I have to factor completely. Leading coefficient of 1, that's a good day. So I'm going to list those numbers right here. Now, negative 18, that means the signs are different. So negative 1 times 18. Oh, it could be negative 18 times 1. That's always an option. These two multiply will give you negative 18. These two multiply give you negative 18. Negative 2 and 9, and negative 9 and 2. Negative 3 and 6, negative 6 and 3. Now I'm looking for one of those 6 options that add up to positive 3. And that'll be this guy right here. When you add them together, they add up to positive 3. So your factors are negative 3, x minus 3, x plus 6. And the GCF that you pulled out in the beginning doesn't disappear. It's still there. And you don't have to divide because you didn't start out by multiplying by anything. You just pull the GCF out right there. Last one. Always look for GCF. And I am able to divide everybody by 2. So my GCF right there is 2. Pull the GCF out. Now I'm going to have to factor what I have in parentheses right there. The leading coefficient is 7, so I'm going to have to get the 7 in the front multiply by the last number right there in the back. Now my leading coefficient magically turned into 1, so I can factor like I would on the other video with the leading coefficient of 1. So I'm going to list my factors. Negative 1 and 49. And I can do negative 49 and 1. And I know also 7 works too. Positive 7 times negative 7. And those two that add up, I'm only choosing the one that add up to positive 48. And that will be this guy right here, the first one. So my factors are x plus 1, x, x minus 1, x plus 49. Because we started out by multiplying by 7 right here, I need to remember to divide by 7. I can't simplify this fraction any further, so I bring that 7 back up. 49 divided by 7 is 7. And these are my factors.